or people are just not getting the notifications or people whatever I might as well just go for it I might as well just continue on with the path I'm going this be rolling video 34 now I'm going to bring out 34 so let's work up to hopefully the 40 now we're gonna bring out we're gonna expose the BS on uh, the left now what the left is doing is destroying destroying a history of the people that not only made positive change because well I think that what my, my theory is they're only destroying people who made some sort of positive change, right? Let me break this to you. You have destroyed the majority of history of the people who contributed to bringing Martin Luther King on whose memory you, you piss on Whose legacy you piss on on a daily basis? Now that right there does not seem logical. So while you're stair tearing down these statues of people who did their who fought for the people of my skin in and around my skin tone to have some sort of freedom. Why don't you tear down Martin Luther King's statue? The one sitting in Washington, D.C. You, which means, which makes me think that BLM, Black Lives Matter, does not really. Which makes me believe for a long time that black lives matter don't matter to black lives because if they did matter to black lives they would actually do the research and learn what they what people have done to be honest with you it's pretty ignorant pretty ignorant, you know? That's, that's, that's just something that says, that's done to say the least, that's pretty ignorant. You preach hypocrisy at its finest. And you're proud of it. Proud of it. What do you think is gonna happen? Black Lives Matter. What do you think if, if it is really true that you're for Black Lives? What do you think is gonna happen in a socialist society? Now we haven't had. the best track record in America, we haven't had the best track record in any culture, especially a socialist and communistic culture. We don't have a very good track record. So the best track record we have is a capitalist society. That's the pretty much the best we're gonna get on a track record. Social, a monarchy, monarchy, we haven't had the best track record. Socialism, we haven't had the best track record. Communism, we didn't have, we never had the best track record.
So you want to tear down a thing that we have some sort of decent, semi-decent track record with? Would be a democratic capitalist society? That's a shame. To be honest with you, if, th if things go bad, you know what? I support it. At this point, I support it. If things go bad for black people, I support it at this point. Because the only way you're going to learn is if you suffer. I never wanted I never wanted to get bad. I never wanted to be I never wanted to be to the point where we've got to worry about our own safety. We got to worry about becoming breeding stock for somebody's entertainment. Breeding stock to work the fields. Breeding stock to be to, to, to work menial level jobs, to work the coal mines. Breeding stock on somebody else's plantation. Breeding stock for fighting, for prize fights. What is it that makes you tear down these statues? Is it because they're a man? Is it because they're white? Newsflash. Not all white people are evil. As you like to push the narrative on your children. Abraham Lincoln was white. Ulysses, I mean Sherman was white. Grant was white. Ulysses S. Grant was white. So obviously, your narrative, and oh, you better yet, better yet, my favorite. What about the white soldiers who fought on the Union side? What about those soldiers? They couldn't all be bad and evil. Your narrative is flawed. Your narrative is flawed. Severely. Black people fought for the North and the South in the Confederate Army. Black people were, were, were had their freedoms. Granted, when they put that Union uniform on, the Confederate soldiers were pretty much constricted, were pretty much given, donated, nothing more than donated soldiers by their slave masters. Donated soldiers by their slave masters. Think about it. Although, we have not had the best track record in other governments, but this one we at least have a chance. Or had a chance. Depending on if this stuff gets, doesn't get reversed. Because whether you believe it or not, many of you, uh, it's, it's what it is, it's like, Mammy Harris is going to sell you out, black people. Black men. Black men. Kamala Harris, Kamami Harris, Kamala Harris, Kamalo Harris hates black men. 
Remember the po the little the little poem, the little brown girl, or little black girl? If that ain't proof enough that she hates black men. <laughs> What more proof do you need? And you voted, and many of you sorry sobs voted for this. So you're, so if she gets, if they get in, you deserve everything you get. You deserve everything you get. Every single thing you get. Everything. Whatever it's, whether it's good or bad, you deserve it. And I'm gonna make, and, and if they get in, I'm gonna make dog on shore. That you get every last bit of it, because at, because no matter whether the candidate's the best is the best choice, I'm gonna vote them to make it worse. I know I'm black. I'm a man. But if if it makes it if making things worse, putting you back in hang in shackles, in irons, having you work the freaking cotton field. Work the, the coal mines. Getting tied to a whipping post. You deserve it. Were these four years really that bad? <laughs> really? Were these past four years really that bad? You're not, I'm not in irons. I don't got a bell around my neck. Let me break this to you. You know the biggest international joke? Black Americans. That's the biggest international joke. Around the world, even through, through freaking people from the continent, even through other black people from the continent of Africa. We're a joke. And rightfully so. 12% of the population. And dropping. And dropping. <laughs> you know? 12% of the population. We don't know our history. We don't know where we came from. We believe what is told to us. But mother racist. We're sick. Point blank, point blank we're sick. We are quick to sell out the men of the community. But you know what? We are quick to destroy boys of our community. To the point where we are, where boys are called abortions. Little boys are called abortions at eight, at eight, almost nine months of pregnancy. You held this child and you're ready to kill them already. And you're ready to kill them already. But black lives are supposed to matter. Right? Who do you think is performing the majority of the abortions? But black lives matter, right? Now, 
men are dying. Left, men have died in World War One. Men have died in World War Two, Vietnam and Korea. Desert Storm. To Desert Shield. Let me break this to you. Do you want to die overseas or do you want to die? Let me break this to you, the difference between dying overseas and dying here. Dying overseas, your you may not get the your family may not get the chance to mourn you. Dying in America, at least your chance family gets some closure. What's the difference? Your family gets closure. Has a higher chance of getting closure. Now, another thing I want to talk to you about changing gears here. The trucking industry. A lot of you pay a lot of I don't know if there's any uh, dispatch or company heads uh, uh, listening to these channels but let me break this to you the majority of the people who have automatic restriction on their license or don't stay in the industry for as long as I have by the first or second year they leave they're gone they just they're decided to let their CDL lapse Why are you making these auto shifters in the numbers that you are? You should be basically take people to cater to the people who actually know how to drive the trucks. Auto shit it is, and I know, and I and don't try to get me on the bull crap. It's not for fuel efficiency. It's because you want to put butts in seats. Those Tesla, those uh, automatic, those uh, self-driving trucks, they can be easily hacked. And then you wonder why. Things are going crazy. See, what you don't understand is those self-driving trucks can be hacked easily. You know, self-driving cars, I don't know, like maybe a... Uh, Put a, uh, what's the word? Put a little virus in that. Find some pla place with a, with a plant of place that you know for a fact has a propane tank and run it into it. That's how these that's how these things can be hacked. Is they I got a I got a prediction for if. These let these self-driving trucks come on the road. It's going to be destruction in the environment. It's going to be environmental destruction on a scale that is not that has never been seen before. There's going to be four. There's going to be fires. Left, right, center. It's going to be lakes that are polluted. And a lot of cargo is not going to move. They're going to be shut down for months. Maybe week, weeks, maybe months. Until they get the system back online. And it's going to happen again and again and again. And, to, and then you're going to be pandering to us senior truck drivers that have been driving for years. And then you're back to square one.
But what do I know? This is Big Town to Win. Signing off.